that music didn't play for long. As you can see, there's no extruder in my brand new 3D printer. It is because it's here. This is one part, this is another part, one more part, and this part. So what I did is I accidentally broke nozzle while I tried to remove it. Here it is that that's the part that's stuck in and I have no idea how to take it out of there but that's not the worst part trying to remove this heating component this thing heats in 3d printer I broke another thing I don't know what that is but here is a second piece initially it was like this this thing was sticking out and because it feels like aluminum and this one is copper, or I don't know what that is. All of that is so gentle that you don't want to use this kind of instruments. At least when you do use these kind of instruments, uh, you might want to turn it the right direction, okay? Life hack. If you want to change nozzle in your 3D printer, just make sure when you're trying to remove it, freaking turn it in the right direction. Oh my God. So as you can see, I spent another uh, $31 just to order a spare official Creality Sprite Extruder Upgrade Heater Block. So if you think it's a good idea to absolutely destroy from both sides your heat block, then get ready to pay another $31 in Canada. Weird part is that this thing jammed filament in the middle of the night printing this piece. It printed pretty successfully base and there's another part like twice as big, this one, that was printing and it looks like it was doing a pretty good job everything was fine and then at some point the extruder just jammed i have no idea what happened i was sleeping at that time in the morning i just saw my printer doing <coughs> and uh, the rest is history while am i waiting for my uh, new hit block to come my mail i also ordered additional nozzles 15 of them and all of them are 0 0.2 there's 15 of them I don't know if this brand is good, if this is even a brand, or I don't know what that is, but it's a 15 pieces, 0.2 millimeter nozzles. But in my uh, software that I send projects to 3D printer, it says that super quality is 0.112. Most of my prints that I did before that was 0.112. 16. You can go as low as 0.12 and that will be called super quality. And I was wondering what kind of nozzles did I had with the printer because there's no mark marking on, on them. But I don't know. It didn't want to print anything on 0.12. Uh, 12 even though you can send and start printing that but it was uh, messed up print every time and I'm wondering if I ordered the right ones. Oh, and also for well, one more project. I ordered this uh, Angle meter. How do you call that angle to measure an angle and it's electronic and now I have everything electronic That's so convenient. And meanwhile, I asked my friend to help me <laughs> to fix my keyboard because my space button no I can't show you that close because it's all dirty <laughs> I thought I can fix it but my friend can couldn't fix it as well challenge accepted <laughs> I got delivery new heating block and the whole bunch of uh, nozzles Well, it seems like I assembled everything back and we should put it back on the 3D printer. Oops, I forgot that. All set, let's turn it on. Okay. 
something's wrong. I don't know. It's just not pulling. This thing cracks like quick, 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 and it's not pulling the filament. Literally don't know what happened, but I just deassembled the whole thing up to the thing where PLA travels through the whole extruder, checked everything, everything looked okay. I assembled it back together and it's working. So far so good. I consider this to be a successful project. Another 3D printing successful project for me, where a way to go, but uh, I still have at least five home improvement projects that I have in mind. For now, my wife was like, come on, man, it's kids time. So we are printing some articulated dinosaur toy for kids with this funky, Filament. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel.